Hello guys, yes, you have read right. We are going to go find an asteroid, dock to it, capture it, bring it into orbit around Kirby, mine the hell out of it, and then bring it back to the Kerbal Space Center. And why not? The last bit was sort of the last minute. Could I do this? I think I could. Yes, let's bring the rock back home. Right, a quick tip if you want to rendezvous with an asteroid like this. First off, line up the man orbit. Then line up the orbit of the asteroid that's passing so that you know where the Kerbal Space Center has to be when you launch your rocket. And this is basically because the KSC is on the equator, so you line up the man to make sure you know where the KSC is when it's plans rotating. And then you want to line up the orbit to know when on the equator you want to launch by. Because you can launch pretty much anywhere from there and that's why we use it well not really the real reason why we launch from the equator at least in the usa is because we get the extra boost from the rotation of the planet but here in the kerbal space uh, universe it's easier to launch up in an equatorial orbit anyway when you're launching like we are here you can use the purple marker if you have it on your nav ball and point in that direction. Don't forget, north is on the bottom of the nav ball and south is on the top. That's because you're looking from the inside out of the rocket, I think. I can't remember exactly. Anyway, when you're doing your orbit burn as well, use the normal and anti-normal to reduce that descending node as much as possible. Just make sure that you have the asteroid targeted, otherwise you won't get that ascending descending node. Now, this is not a complete tutorial on how to do this because this is a mission of the Mind and the Man universe. And I noticed an asteroid was coming in, passing us by, so I thought, why not? It's a nice, easy one to do, a medium asteroid. We've been planning on capturing an asteroid. As you probably know from my Mind and the Man series, because everyone watches every video, don't they? <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, basically, I caught an asteroid and I built a base which encompassed it. Basically, I had the asteroid base go all around it in four directions. So it was sort of like a four quad surrounding station around the asteroid. I think that's the best way to explain it. You probably have to watch it. However, the game wasn't highly optimized at the time that I was building it. I don't think the game was fully released. The problem I had with it was basically the game slowed down because of all the mods and all the parts I had around the asteroid. It was agonizing to build. I gave up on it. And yeah, here I am showing that, trying to run through the asteroid. Not even I'm perfect. I boosted at the wrong time and I missed the encounter. So luckily, I quick save a lot of these days because that is something you should do in Kerbal Space Pro. Alt F5. Well, Alt F5 as many times as you can because that means you can name the quick save. I'm not sure about consoles, guys. I'm really sorry, but I have not got a PS4 or an Xbox or any of the consoles that actually use this. Anyway, now we are on our way to go and capture the asteroid for the whole of Kerbal uh, Civilization. And I just noticed the batteries are running out, so I forgot to deploy the solar panels. Luckily, we had enough charge to do so. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. That problem solved. Now all we have is the problem of encountering the asteroid. So when you get close enough, as you can see, we're 16 kilometers away. Now, a quick note here, when you're in orbit, close to orbit around Kerbin, this is really far away. But when you're further out in orbit around Kerbin, it's not so far, well, it's not so far away in relation to the distance because it's more traveling in a straight line. That means what I can do by here is just Head straight for it, boost as fast as possible, I think I cut her about 50 meters per second by her. Turn in the opposite direction of where I'm traveling. Yes, I use mech chat for most of this, but the SAS in the game is well enough to do that. And you can see that this brings us close enough. There's no need to do multiple burns, heading towards it, cutting a velocity, relative velocity and then heading towards it again. No, all you have to do is one boost. That's because, as I said, we're traveling more or less in a straight line, sort of. But it's now time to capture the asteroid. Now, the important thing by here is to make sure that you're heading straight for the a pointy tip, as you can see by here, because there's a special reason. You see, we've got docking ports on this. This is going to disassemble and reassemble in a certain way. 
So what I have to do here is capture a pointy bit like this so that the side arms don't impact any of it or, you know, or get damaged. Right, now that we have captured the asteroid, we can do the more important business of, oh yes, almost forgot. You have to target the center of mass of the asteroid and then pivot the arm, lock it once you set your nav ball to point directly at the center of mass. Basically, we're gonna move the orbit because this isn't an orbit around Kirby. It also seems we have plenty of Delta V, which is the one thing I'm always worried about because you don't know the exact size of the asteroid until you capture it. Even if you target a medium mass sized asteroid, that way you don't know what you can do with it. I mostly know I can get this into orbit around Kerbin because it's only a few hundred meters per second to put this into our orbit around Kerbin. But can we do further with this? Should we go further with this? My Kerbal Elon Musk instinct says yes, we can do more with this. Why not bring it into orbit around the man? Now, this is not. A revolutionary idea. In fact, NASA are planning this. I think they plan it. I don't think they're actually going to send it in orbit around the van. They're going to put it in an orbit similar to the van, uh, to the moon, to be more precise. And yes, I know, I get comments all the time saying it's not man, it's spelt moon. It's got two asterisks on the top of it. But if you ever listen to the squad, the game developers of Kerbal Space Program, you will know that they call it the man as well. I think it's been passionately called a man because people have been misreading it, reading it all this time. And yeah, so it's stuck as the man, even though it's spelt moon. It also makes it easier if you're playing real solar system mod to be able to distinguish between the moon and the man. Anyway, here we are. I'm trying to dock this into the space station. And you saw that it sort of ricocheted at a weird angle. It's done it again. I'm not sure this was a glitch for the game if it's some kind of mod, but unfortunately I ran out of mono propellant because I used it all trying to maneuver the asteroid. And you probably were saying, saying to me that you could have mined the asteroid and made more mono propellant, but that's not possible because we have to turn these arms around and because the processing labs were on the end of the arms, then that means that the mining arms wouldn't have been able to reach the asteroid and mine properly. So, yeah, that's why. <laughs> As you see the configuration, we turn the arms around to be able to point at the asteroid and then mine. Okay, so now we are revealing the mining equipment. You see the processing labs there. And also, I just realized that we have a covering of one of the fairings over the mining rigs. So let's decouple that. And yeah, of course, it had to jam itself there. So we had to use time warp. And let's initiate Mine This Asteroid Dry. I forgot the name of the Kerbal I've got by here. But we have three Kerbals. And talking about Kerbals, I forgot to add to anybody who asked me Kerbals in here. I think there might be only one person. But I'm not going to make an extreme habit of it. Don't worry. You will all be back and you will be mining on the man. Because that's the mission. Any other episodes? Well, there uh, probably won't be. And by the way, someone commented as well. That they want me to make a tutorial on how to build our single launch space station so let me know in the comments if you would really like that as well i'll keep it all stock and i won't even use the new dlc to show you how to do it i'll probably inc install KSE another time to make sure okay and this happened on this mission the kraken attacked i haven't seen the kraken in ages you see this wobble right here that's effectively called the kraken and it happens with the game Especially if you have parts clipped as well. And so I just couple everything and in the rocket detaches. Yes, there was no way of saving this. I couldn't work out words. They happened twice. But then on the second quick load, it worked. But now we have a mission. We have to return this asteroid to the Kerbal Space Center. We have to study it. But there is a problem. We have a cloud cover mod on this game. So it is impossible to see where the KFC is. So then Valentina bravely comes out, puts a flag up saying put the rock here. We send the coordinates to Nudas, Rockwell and another Kerbal, but because I couldn't read the name quick enough, it will be nameless. Upon the second quick load, we hit jackpot. The first quick load wasn't too far off in fact, but wasn't close enough to be called the KFC. 
to our brave time-traveling Kerbals who seem to be able to rewrite the universe at will if they do something wrong. Wouldn't we all love that power? Yes, we would. Are they able to land it near the KSC? But will they survive landing? That I will leave hanging in the air. Because it's not as if I shown the actual end of this video at the beginning of this video, is it? Anyway, afraid that the Kerbals would die upon impact, we send them on EVA, deploying the new parachutes, which I'm still not sure if it's part of the DLC or, or is it part of the game. I hope it's part of the game because I'm going to be using them in the future. And then I accidentally quick view on the last Kerbal instead of EVA. That means they were in there, but they survived. And her name is Kerr. Kerpont? That's a weird name for a Kerbal. <laughs> But yes, that was awesome. I wasn't expecting this mission to work because I didn't plan to land this at the KSC. There's no parachutes on the ship at all. But the impact of the ship on the ground seemed to save everything. In fact, I was expecting the asteroid itself to be the impact and probably get destroyed. But that's not even the case. And uh, yeah, Rockwell. No, th yeah, this is Rockwell. Doesn't seem to want to steer this. Nudas seems to be fine. He's able to control his parachute. So yeah, I'm not sure what's wrong with the other one. Kerbal seems to be knocked out or something. So let's watch him get to the ground. Will he survive? It looks like he survived, yes. Rockwell survived. So let's go travel to the asteroid to do a quick flyby. These parachutes are awesome. I have to say, I'm saddened that they didn't add these earlier. Because they could have had a lot more fun. And buzz by that <laughs> we hit the asteroid. <laughs> and spaghettification of the Kerbal, obviously. Well, let's quickly go detach the asteroid. And then I'll probably say goodbye on this video. Now, I couldn't detach the asteroid from the grabber, so I had to detach the grabber from the ship. But all in all, this was a successful mission. Let me know if you want me to do a tutorial on building a single launch space station. Because, yeah, I think some people would like to know how to do that. Anyway, I'm Orbiter. Trust me. I'm an asteroid hunter, a lander, and tamer of asteroids.